Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Literature with Borba. In today's video, I am going to talk about this very interesting book that I read recently, Science, Spirituality and the Nature of Reality, authored by Dr. T.D. Singh. It is a discussion between two intellectuals, Sir Roger Penrose and Dr. T.D. Singh. It's a very interesting book and I will talk about the book in depth and I'm sure you will enjoy it too. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. The books Science, Spirituality and the Nature of Reality is a beautiful intellectual discussion between Dr. T.D. Singh and Sir Roger Penrose. Now Dr. T.D. Singh is a scientist and a spiritualist with a PhD in Physical Organic Chemistry. Whereas Sir Roger Penrose is a professor of mathematics at the University of Oxford. He also won the Wolf Prize for Physics with Stephen Hawking. So therefore you can understand that when these two intellectuals will be talking about science, spirituality and the nature of reality, how interesting it is going to be. So as the title of the book suggests, the main discussion of the book revolves around the nature of reality. Can science answer all the questions pertaining to reality? Can quantum mechanics provide us the perfect theory? Or can the blend of science and spirituality help us in understanding the nature of reality? So you have to read this book in order to understand the answer of all these questions in depth. This conversation will remind you of the epic East Waste dialogue that took place between Rabindranath Tagore and Albert Einstein in the past. So the book begins with Dr. T.D. Singh who talks about Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Now Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam had stated that science and spirituality must join hands to help bring peace to the world. The discussion then moves to the role of quantum mechanics in describing the nature of reality. So Sir Roger Penrose, who is well known for his pioneering contributions in quantum mechanics, he describes the procedures of quantum mechanics, especially the Schrodinger's equation. But both Dr. T.D. Singh and Sir Roger Penrose agree that consciousness is beyond the quantum phenomenon of the mind. That means consciousness cannot be defined by quantum mechanics. The discussion then moves to computers. So a computer is capable of defeating a seasoned player at a game of chess. But the computer does not have any consciousness. Then how is it able to defeat a very good player at a game of chess? So the understanding of the computer in playing a great game of chess comes from the programmer who has programmed the machine. So we have to understand that the person who programmed the computer, that person has consciousness, not the computer. So the computer will be never able to play a surprise game. At first, it will require programming. While discussing consciousness and the nature of reality, Sir Roger Penrose talks about the anthropic principle, the space and time argument. Whereas Dr. T.D. Singh talks about the Bhagavad Gita, the Katha Upanishad and the Vedantic saying, Aham Brahmasmi, which means I am a conscious spiritual being. Dr. T.D. Singh talks about Albert Einstein who said, that science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. Sir Roger Penrose also agrees that Albert Einstein was not in favor of quantum mechanics. At the end of the dialogue, both these intellectuals agree that we cannot define the nature of ultimate reality only through rigorous scientific approach. This book will broaden your mind and perspective. If you are inclined towards science, you will be compelled 
to think about life from a spiritual perspective. If you are more inclined towards spirituality, you will gain a lot of knowledge about cosmology and quantum mechanics. If you are enthusiastic about science, spirituality or both of them, then this is the perfect read for you. This 75 pages book will make you appreciate life, will make you wonder about the mysteries of the universe and will also give you plenty of food for thought. You can buy the book in Amazon. The link is given in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, do like it and share with your friends. I am going to talk about another book that I am reading this year with all of you very soon. But I don't want to ask you, which is your current read? Which book are you reading nowadays? Do let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. I will be soon back with a video on a literary work. Until then, stay tuned to Learning Literature with Purva. Thank you so much for watching. Do visit our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpurva.com to discover online classes and courses on English literature and creative writing. Also stay connected on Facebook and Instagram.